Smartwatches are a very new thing to a lot of people. While they are definitely not an everyday essential, they are good for a lot of things and a lot of their benefits can go unnoticed. They can provide you with an easy way to get information, allow you to dismiss or reply to new messages without having to pull out your phone, and much more. In this video, we break down the top 5 best smartwatches on the market today. So if you want to find out which smartwatch will be best for you, stay tuned. <laughs> Choosing the best smartwatch is tougher than ever in 2017 given the breadth of designs and models out there. However, with companies like Samsung and Apple constantly innovating, there's never been a better time to buy a smartwatch. In this video, we are breaking down some of the best smartwatches on the market today based on different needs and different programs. So regardless of which type of smartwatch you want, we'll have a solid option for you. As always, links to find the best price to each of these products mentioned in this video in the description down below. If any new or groundbreaking smartwatches come out, or any newer versions of these same smartwatches come out, I will update the description down below so everybody gets the most current information possible. So be sure to check out that description. Now our list is in no particular order, but starting our list off, we have the Apple Watch Series 2. So pros and said we're looking at this product here is the bright and beautiful screen, the solid battery life, and the snappy performance on this smartwatch. Some cons on the other hand is this is a rather expensive product and it looks the same as the previous version. Some key features is a 38mm or 42mm case, the built-in GPS, 50 meters of water resistance, the heart rate sensor, and the 1000 nits OLED screen. It feels like most of the concerns about the original have been addressed in the new Apple Watch. The Watch OS 3 is now intuitive and useful, there are plenty of compatible apps, and the Apple Watch 2 is now properly water resistant. Only an Apple Watch can finally make sense, especially if you're an outdoorsy, active type. The square screen with rounded glass edges makes it simple to swipe up, down, left and right from the edge to provide additional shortcuts, and the rotating digital crown still works well as a method of zooming in and out and gives general navigation. Not only will it survive a brief dunk in the bath, it's now fit for the sea. Apple claims it can withstand up to 50 meters of water. Overall, this is a really solid option and very likely the top pick for those currently owning an Apple product such as the iPhone. And coming up next on our list, we have the Huawei Watch. Suppose considering when looking at this watch here is the fact that it is comfortable to wear, it looks great, and it features a high-res, fully round crystal display. Some cons on the other hand is the watch is rather thick, the battery life is short for a watch, and it can't automatically adjust its brightness. Some key features on this product is the 1.4 inch full circle display. The body is 42 millimeters by 11.3 millimeters. It is compatible with both Android 4.3 plus and iOS 8.2 plus. The battery life can last up to two days and it comes complete with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. Not only does this watch look like a premium watch, but it also feels like one. The Huawei watch is built with cold forged stainless steel. It isn't too heavy, but it's also not too light and it doesn't give a cheap feel. It feels good in hand and even better when worn on the wrist. Under the skin, it's powered by a 1.2 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 400 processor. There's also 512 MB of RAM and 4 GB of space to store music and apps and a Wi-Fi on board so you can use the watch even if your iPhone or Android smartphone is left behind. And to top it off, many people consider the Huawei watch to be one of the best looking smartwatches out there. This is likely the best choice for those interested in pairing a smartwatch with a typical Android product. Next up on our list, we have the Samsung Gear S3. So pros and considering we're looking at this product here is the animated always on display. It has great activity tracking and the intuitive interface. So cons on the other hand, the watch feels rather large on the wrist. The GPS tracking is a little bit suspect and there is a severe lack of apps included. Some key features to look at when looking at this product here is the weight is 59 grams. The dimension of the watch itself is 49 millimeters by 46 millimeters by 12.9 millimeters the storage is 4 gigabytes 
The screen size is 1.3 inches and the resolution is 360 by 360. The Samsung Gear 3 is a very well made device with a metal frame housing the 1.3 inch screen and holding two prominent buttons on the side which are function as a home slash app button and a back key. The Gear 3 uses an always on display the same as used in the Galaxy S7 smartphone range enabling users to always see what time it is regardless of what's going on on the display. It's a really nice thing to turn on but it can really really munch down on battery life at the same time. This smartwatch is bigger, bolder and more feature rich than ever. This is a brilliant smartwatch in many ways. This product would serve as a great pick for anybody looking to pair their smartwatch with any kind of Samsung product such as the Samsung Galaxy S7 or the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. And coming up next on our list we have the Motorola Moto 362. So the pros of looking at when looking at this product here is the fact that it has a rather sharp screen and it has a useful Moto body activity tracking. Some cons on the other hand is it still has an ugly flat spot at the bottom of the screen and the battery life isn't great on this product. Some key features with regards to this product is the fact that the battery life lasts up to 1.5 days. It has a wireless charging with a dock, a built-in optic heart monitor. It is both dust and water resistant and it has a 1.37 inch display with a 360 by 325 resolution screen. Like the rest of the Android family, the new Moto 360 is waterproof with the same IP67 certification as its processor. Now when this product says water resistant, it means that you can submerge it in water up to 1 meter for up to 30 minutes. However, I would advise against taking it into the shower or on a swim with that leather strap because nobody wants to be wearing a soggy watch around their wrist for the rest of the day. Generally, there's nothing too bad to report about the screen's responsiveness. Swipes and presses register without any issues when you're stationary. And you can also very simply just swipe left to see all your native and third party applications all at once. Swipe left again and there's a menu just dedicated to contacts. Swipe left one more time and the last screen will give you access to Google Voice Search. Basically what I'm trying to say is this product is very easy to use and very user friendly with a lot of solid options included. The Moto 362 is without a question better than the original. So if you're looking for a desirable Android Wear smartwatch and any of the previous options didn't suit your likings, then this would be another solid option for you. And next up, last but not least, we have the LG Watch Urban. So pros and consider when looking at this watch here is the fact that it is a very fashionable watch. It works with iOS and it has decent battery life. Some cons on the other hand is that it's bulky, there is no built-in GPS, and it is a rather pricey option as well. Some key features on this product is 1.3 inch 320 by 320 p OLED display. It has a 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon 400 processor. It has a Bluetooth 4.0 connectivity, a heart rate sensor and replaceable leather bands. The LG Watch Urban in my opinion without question is the best looking Android Wear smartwatch on the market today. It does have some great features like the Wi-Fi to phone connectivity but it doesn't have quite the same functionality and doesn't offer the same wider range of activities you can do with it as some of the other Android Wear watches. It is however a great medium for those looking for a smartwatch but not wanting to compromise on fashion. The Watch Urban is LG's stab at an Android Wear smartwatch. And those of you with a beefy wrist will especially enjoy its broad, slab-like construction, not to mention its mostly premium look. In addition, the best part of the Urban's experience are Google's own software improvements, which will eventually trickle down to other compatible wear devices in short order. But for now, they're on the LG device which is perfect. This pick here would be the perfect pick for somebody looking for a very fashionable smartwatch, something that will blend in with a lot of outfits and look very good on the wrist. Alright guys, that is all for this video though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did like the video, please just hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you liked the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Sometimes we do giveaways with some of the products that we mention in these videos exclusively to subscribers. So the only way to be a part of those giveaways and the only way to know about those giveaways is by hitting that subscribe button down below. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you guys learned something new. Be sure to check out that description down below for links to the best places to find the best price on each of the products mentioned. If any new information comes out, I will update the description as well. I hope you guys all have a great day. Till next time, I will see you guys later.